everyone. Excellent morning, excellent morning to everyone of us and happy weekend. How are we doing? I hope we're great. I hope we're having a good, good weekend. Happy weekend as we approach the, you know, last weeks of July. Wow, and that would be seven months gone in 2024. Can you believe that? Can you imagine that? God is faithful. All right, so today, as we continue on our discussions on weight loss, remember to watch the first few videos that I showed you and I told you and we discussed why you must lose weight. Because of your health, because of your age, because of your fitness, okay? Why you must lose weight. I said several things. I gave 10 reasons why you have to shed those weights and I gave 10 reasons also benefits of weight loss, okay? So make sure you watch that video. Today, we're going to be looking at some fitness ball exercises. Wow. Bounce your way to weight loss was what we did last week. So today, we're going to be very, very specific with 19 exercises that you can do, okay? So... You just choose the ones that are okay for you, the ones you can start with and start with those ones and then start increasing, adding more as you get to learn them more and more, okay? So we're all highly welcome, 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 welcome. Are you happy? Remember, if it doesn't make you smile, change it. Make sure that you are happy. Make sure that you are happy, okay? Happy, 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 happy. All right. Okay, so today, like I said, we're going to be looking at 19 ways that you can use this fitness ball for weight loss, okay? And I'm going to be showing you all the exercises. So we'll go from theory to practice. Because there are 19 and we don't have so much time, I don't think we should make this video more than 35-40 minutes so that people can be able to watch them. We will just show you one or two reps for each and then we can go ahead and do it after today's discussion. So if you join me live, you can greet, I can welcome you to this morning's broadcast. Welcome, welcome to every one of us. If you join me live, you can greet as we share, share, share 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 out so that everyone can join us if you're live with me let me see you let me see you let me see you before i start sharing okay olori olubumi good morning that's the first person to kick the message and comment button thank you thank you for joining me thank you for the love wow so being the first today chat me on my whatsapp number after this broadcast and i'm going to be showing you five books to choose one from okay <laughs> i'm going to be showing you five books and you choose one out of them so my whatsapp number is for being the first to comment because there are seven people here but you were the first to comment my whatsapp number is plus two three four plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two Plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two. All right, that's my WhatsApp number. So um, if you have any question and things like that, you can chat. But to Lori, make sure you chat me. I'm going to show you five books, and you will choose out of them for being the first to comment out of the seven people who were just watching live <laughs> before I share, share, share. Hello, Ola Kalu, you're welcome. Welcome to this morning's broadcast. Okay, so let's share. Are you the first to share too? Help me to share to family, to friends, to colleagues at work. Share so that people can learn how to use their fitness ball and make sure that they bounce their way to weight loss and have 19 exercises, okay? 19 exercises that you can do. That's what we're going to be looking at this morning. 19 exercises you can do using your fitness ball, okay? So just um, share, share, share with me and then um, we will get going this morning wow so let's start by warming up warm up by bouncing <laughs> warm up warm up warm up warm up and share warm up warm up and share warm up warm up and share 
warm up, warm up, and share, share, and 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 warm up, warm up, and share. Doesn't make you smile, change it. Changing, it's weekend. You're supposed to be happy, bouncing and happy, bouncing and happy. It's weekend. You are supposed to be bouncing, bouncing and happy, happy and bouncing. It's weekend. You are supposed to be bouncing, bouncing and happy. Wow. <laughs> Hello, Gulaya, if he's watching. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, so let's get going this morning. Remember, I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube. So please kindly go to YouTube, Ngozi Achoma, TikTok, Aging with Grace, Instagram of Alternative Nutritionist, and like, follow, and subscribe to my page, okay? So th there's one important thing we actually need to mention before we start getting into our fitness ball exercises today. While exercising can help you lose weight, it does, it does also need to be accompanied with calorie deficit, okay? It's not just about exercise. Remember, I always tell us that it's comprehensive. So you need to follow the comprehensive method. Watch what you're eating. And that's why on Mondays, on Wednesdays, we talk about the food you eat and how calories will count and things like that. So calorie deficit is important. For you to lose weight, you have to be burning more calories than you're taking the calories and that means you need to eat fewer calories than what your body is burning so that you can promote that weight loss so while fitness boil exercise is a great way for you to lose calorie and also assist in contributing to that um calorie out and calorie deficit nutrition diet integral role reaching out you can help you to reach your weight loss goal intermittent fasting is also another thing and we're going to be dealing with intermittent fasting from monday okay i'm going to talk about intermittent fasting on monday and wednesday show you the ways the methods and how you can achieve it for weight loss so make sure you join me all right so let's just go because it's really a long um 19 is a long way out so the first exercise we're going to do is what we call the inclined push-up hands on ball so look at it here so I'll show you and then we we'll go ahead and do it, okay? Incline push-up, hands on ball. So let's go. So I have my ball. So I have to put down the camera a bit so you can see. So your hands on your ball. Push down the ball. Push down. Push down, push the ball, push, 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 use your ankle, go down, okay? So this is like a kind of hand press on. Hold on and taking your stomach, hold it tight and push, push the ball as if you want to squeeze the ball into the floor. You will have, feel that pain here, here, okay? Um, I don't have so much space here, but I'll just do it from the back so that you can also see how the back part looks when you're pushing down the ball. So I have my ball, okay, and then I'm going to push down. As I'm pushing, I'm pressing myself down. As I push, and then I'm going to stay like this. That's how I'm going to take my hand. Make sure you're talking, make sure you, you're talking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then you gradually come down. So that's the first exercise. You can do this and take your count. Ten is not easy, try it. <laughs> Try it and you see that you'll be breathing the way I'm breathing now. <laughs> so you push your ball very down with your hands. 
and then you quietly roll it to your elbow and then you squeeze the ball and hold on to that position for a while okay so that's the handsome ball hands push up that you can do then the second one will be the decline push up with your feet on the ball so that's the opposite direction that's the decline feet up with your feet on the ball okay let's try um this ball is a little high. I usually do this with a lower ball, but I'll try. I'll try today with this ball. Okay. So you start going down. Can you see? You start going down, start going down until you push the ball to your feet. Okay? And when you push the ball to your feet, then you now hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And make sure you gradually <laughs> take the ball. Like I always say, anytime you're with your ball, make sure you're near the wall that you can hold the ball so that you'll be able to come out of the ball. I nearly fell here now. So let me show you the opposite direction. I wish um, I put my camera in there where this sitting room is not so big. I mean, I'm A, B, and B. And this city room is not so big. I mean, Woolish, London Woolish, okay? Uh, maybe I should have moved this other chair so that I can have a, a real square. But since I can't, I will do my best with, <laughs> with what I have. So for doing the opposite direction of it, let me see if I can show you like this, okay? Let me see how... If the ball is like this, so it's still the back that I'll show you. So I'm going to go gradually down, and you will see me with the ball. So go, 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 go. So that is it. I hope you're seeing the back. So that's how the back is supposed to look, okay? And then you take your count one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I gradually come down. I don't have enough space, so, and there's no work. So I shouldn't joke with what I shouldn't joke with. All right. So that's another way. So with this way, you will have that burning of fat, your arms, your shoulder. And because you're tucking in, also your stomach, okay? All right, so that's number two. We go over to number three. Number three will be like plank. It's a little different from the hands on the ball. This one, your shoulder will be on the ball and your leg will be stretched forth. I'm not going to do the pike. The pike are for those who are really, really very conversant and stable with their ball and I don't even have enough space here in case I fall. So this is, this is it, okay? All right. So, I have my hands on the ball. So let me square out a bit so I can, you can see me well. So with your hands on the ball like this, you go down. Okay, stretch yourself. I just want to see if we can do it once. So with your hands, your elbow on the ball, Your elbow, your elbow. Try to plank up, and then you take your count. Tuck in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take up to five to ten reps of this. And remember, water is very, very important when you're having your exercises. So I've got to take water at this point. Also remember I've told us some of the ways you can do your you take your water during exercise you take it in sips okay all right 
So that's number three, done and dusted. We go over to number four. Our fourth exercise today will be the tricep dip, okay? So for the tricep dip, you sit on your fitness ball and then you place your hands behind you with your fingers pointing towards you. So your hands should be like this at the back of your ball, okay? Can you see? That's how your hands should be. So when you are ready, you lift up your hip off the ball. Then you take a step forward with both feet. So only your hands are in contact with the ball. And then you ensure that your feet and your feet are shoulder width apart. Your toes are pointing forward, okay? So that's the tricep dips. You descend into a dip, bending at the elbow, lowering your body towards the ground until your buttocks are near the floor or you've reached your low as low as you can be. So that's my hand, my hands on the ball. Let me just show you this. My hands on the ball. Make sure your hands are stable on the ball while you're seated at the ball, okay? Then when you're ready, you get up. You move your, hold the ball down and move your hip away from the ball. Move your leg forward. Move your hip away and then you hold it. One, two, three, four, five, up to as long as you can. That's that deep. This is absolutely very, very good. It helps with your hands, with your legs. And as you move your hip away from the ball, it's tightening the lower part of your of your <laughs> of your your hamstring. It's actually tightening your hamstring. That's the lower part of your thigh. It's easier with a chair. I'll show you with a chair. But the ball helps with the balancing. It's more difficult with the ball. So let me just show you um, this with a chair. So with a chair, your hands on the chair as you're seated on the chair. And then you move. That's it. It's easier with a chair, okay? And then you take your count. Go low. My chair is moving. I don't have a rug yet. I need to be very careful. So when you lift up your, your hips, hold your stomach inside, and then go low and move your leg forward. Okay? So that's it. This will help with your hamstring and also help with your stomach. So it's easier with a chair. You can start with a chair. As you get learning with the chair, you can now turn on onto your butt. Okay? Alright, so that's the tricep dip. So the next one, the fifth exercise we will do today is the glute bridge. So let me show you the glute bridge. I don't have a rock here. And then I'll try my best to see how much of it I can show us. This one again, you're going on the ball. This ball is a little too high for me, like I said. I usually use 85 cm, but the one I could borrow here in London is this 95 cm, which is quite big, okay? But I'll try to use it. Um, I'm wondering the side that would be better for me, so you can see me. Maybe if I turn, you will be able to see me if I turn. So this is it. I hope you're seeing it. Okay? As your legs are on the ball, you try to lift up yourself. You lift up yourself and then you take that count. Let me show you from the back. So, uh, I think I've seen myself well here. So can you see my hands here, out with my shoulder, and then I'm going to press onto the ball, and I'm going to lift up my hips, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you gradually get down. And then when you want to take the second rep, tuck in, make sure that you are breathing in and holding your stomach tight. Okay, and then you lift up your your buttocks, let your whole weight be on your shoulder side, 
and then you take the count of 10. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the love. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wow. So that's it. That's our number five, the glutes bridge. Okay. So number six will be the single leg glute, um, um, glutes bridge too, okay? The single leg. So the single leg means I'm using one leg to hold the ball. I still lift myself up. I'm using one leg and I'm lifting my leg up. So let's go. That's it, okay? When you lift up yourself, then you raise one leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, this is not easy. You come down, and then I'm going to use only one leg, my right leg. Again, remember whatever you do to your right side, do to your left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness. So you take like five reps of this and that will be okay for you. Are you having fun? Help me put it there if you're having fun, okay? Are you having fun? We are progressing. We are going to number seven. Number seven is a popular one. I always show us. Number seven is the wall, um, wall squat. Number seven is the wall squat, okay? Which I always show us. So for number seven, let me show you. The wall squat, that's the wall squat. You will bear me witness that this one is a common one anytime we are doing fitness work because I love it a lot. I remember my small sitting room. I don't know where I'm going to be able to find the wall, but I think I can see one here now. So I have a wall here. Put my ball on the wall and then I'm on the wall so that's it as your ball is squeezing to the wall then you squat 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 okay and hold it one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten I come out of it so that's the bar and number seven, wall squat. Then number eight, will be your overhead squat. So that's it, okay? That's number eight. We are almost halfway. Your overhead squat. So for your overhead squat, it's for people who have tried the wall squat and they are very, very conversant with the wall squat. They can then do the overhead squat. Carry the ball over your head and then you bend, okay? That's the overhead squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wow. So now that we're halfway, let's see those who have greeted so I can greet them before we continue. Before we continue. All right. Hello, Habitat Salaja. You're welcome, welcome to this evening's broadcast. Thank you, thank you for all morning broadcast. <laughs> thank you for joining us. <laughs> Hello, Grace, Grace Odofia. Good morning, thank you for joining. Grace, 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 Shine, how are you? Welcome, thank you for joining us. Funke Ayorinde, Funke is also watching. Good morning, Lolo, NK. Good morning, Chizoba, good morning. Oh, Grace says she's having fun. Thank you, thank you. Let's put it there. Are you learning something? Are you getting value? Are you having fun? Just put it there. I'm really, really having fun. You can see how I'm sweated. Right in this, my small city room, in the Airbnb in Woolwich, London, I'm having fun and I am also sweating, sweating it out. And when you're sweating, what is happening to you? You're burning calories. You can imagine. I'm burning calories just right here in this sitting room, okay? And we have done our number eight, which is our overhead squat, okay? 
Then the ninth, the ninth one will be our lying hamstring coil. I'm going to show you the lying hamstring coil. I don't have so much space, but I'll still do that lying hamstring coil. And also the arm and leg lift. I'll show you the two together so that I don't get up before then. So I'm going to show you the lying hamstring coil, which is like this. And then I'm going to show you the arms and legs lift, which is like this. Okay? All right. So the lying hamstring first. Let me see how much of... Okay, I need to put down the camera. Lying hamstring. <clears throat> this you will lie and then you will push the ball forward and backward, okay? And then I'll show you the the hands and leg. So this I'm going to lie down. Let me be sure you're seeing me, okay? At least you're seeing the ball. So as I'm lying down, I'm going to leave the ball. So this is it, okay? So here's the push of the ball. This will help with your thighs. It will also help with the movement of your knees, especially for people who have um, knee problem. This will help. So with your legs on flat, remember we have done this. So what you now do as you're lying down, you bring the ball forward, take it backward. Two, three four five six seven so this is for those who don't want any pressure if you want pressure what you're supposed to do is to lift up your buttocks as you lift up your buttocks then you bring the ball forward and backward one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten, then you go down okay so with that that's where the work is going on this is just like you're testing yourself by lying with your buttocks down and taking the ball forward and backward you're just trying to relax the real exercise is that you stick up your buttocks and then you still roll the ball the way you have rolled it while you're lying down so let's go i just take five more up, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then I take down my buttocks. <sighs> Did we get that? <laughs> Did you get that? So that's it. Like I said, if it doesn't make you smile, do what? Just change it. I'm really, really having fun. So the leg and we're going on the arm and leg lift. Let me take some more water. Which is our number 10. And after that, nine more to go. I'm excited. <laughs> your stomach and then one hand again will be up so it's only one hand so it's always good to balance with right and left left hand and right leg then when you take it up and take the left hand now then you take up the left leg and the right arm okay and balance on the ball and take your hand one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then you do the opposite so that's the arms and leg lift exercise number 10 all right so number 11 number 11 will be like the one for superman 
for Superman, you're going to, it's also hands and leg lift, but you're going to stand with only one hand and you're lifting up the two legs. That's the, the only thing difference from the hands and leg lift, okay? And then you also will do some, the work we call the reverse extension. All these are all the same position. An inclined plank. I've already shown you inclined plank. It's uh, another form of the hands and leg. So let me show you the Superman picture. I'll show you the three and I'll go ahead and do the three all at the same time. It's just to save time. So that's the Superman. You're only on one hand and your two legs are lifted. And then you have the reverse hyper extension. The reverse hyper extension, you're moving down more and moving your two legs up. Okay? That's reverse hyper extension and of course the inclined plank that's the inclined plank so i'll go ahead and show you the three the superman the hyper super extension and the inclined plank so with superman is two legs up let me have space here two your your two legs will be up so make sure you're balanced on the ball very well to lift up your two legs as you lift up your two legs one hand should also go up and you're only holding yourself with one hand okay i don't have enough space here but i'll try so i've lifted up one hand it's only one hand on the floor this hand is lifted up but you can see but my two legs are up with one hand and one hand up okay as long as you can hold it you can hold that one and hold on count your five or count your ten whichever one you're able to count then the next one will be your two legs up and your ball is almost down 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 i'll just show you like this here now okay so that's it To rest a bit. Mm. We need to rest a bit though. So let's have some gist while we rest. <sighs> oh my goodness. So I have eight more to show you. Is it eight? Okay, no. Number 13 is the inclined plank. That's six more to show you. You have your inclined plank. We have your declined plank. And we have some kind of sit, sit up, crutches, and um, knee tuck. And then we have our mountain climbing. Mountain climbing, you don't do it. These remaining four are not with fitness ball. You don't do them with fitness ball. So you should actually have me 15. I'm going to show them to you even though they are not really with fitness ball. Doing them with fitness ball is tough on the wall. Mountain climbing is that exercise that I went and followed one guy to do. <laughs> Let me tell you the story while we wait. Relax a bit. So, the time, the time I started my weight loss program, that was like um, a game. Because, of course, you know, for those of us who are waiting, we go through weight loss program off and on. So, I think this was during COVID. Yes, it was during COVID lockdown. I won't forget, I think it's April, May 2020, the heat of the lockdown. So because one had stayed at home for one month, not going anywhere, one, two months, not going anywhere, going to the third month, I know it came suddenly. So for some of us, we didn't really plan it. And going shopping was another thing entirely. We didn't have so much vegetables around that area. So most of the things we were eating were stored grains, that we had stored when we heard about the lockdown that was coming. So then I now started farming at the back of my house. I started farming some vegetables. Those of you who started following me 2020 will remember my cucumber farm. 
So that's when I also had that my cucumber farm. And in six, two months, I was able to harvest my cucumber. Let me encourage us at this junction, okay? It's good for you to farm vegetables. They don't take long to grow and you start taking your vegetables. Like I remember just before I traveled in May, I put some vegetables in my garden, a wedu tete, shoko, water leaf, um, bitter leaf. Like the day I counted it, I counted 14 vegetables for us, okra and scent leaf, you know, so many vegetables that that day I counted. I put all these in my garden and in six weeks I had already started taking my wedu, no fertilizer. It's only the dumping, I use them uh, where we normally dump them. Um, some refuse in the house that we dig holes and then we dump them and then we cover them and open another one so that's where i put up my vegetable garden so it had natural money and in six weeks we're already taking the the vegetables so during this lockdown it was the same thing so i now started saying oh let me do let me do some kind of exercises that can help me to lose and tone up and i started following one man on facebook the man is a uh, man and he was doing these exercises. I can remember the one that broke, the last one that broke the camera's back for me was the mountain climbing, which I'm going to show you the easy way. I followed this man. He will do 30 minutes of climbing the mountain right there in your sitting room. And one of the days I had when I mean when on my ankle. <laughs> it was not funny. When I had it, I was like, what happened here? I touched it. I didn't feel any serious pain initially. So I continued what I was doing. Only for me, that was around 6 a.m. And I was using the sitting room because my husband at the time said, this your mountain climbing is making me afraid. Please stop doing it in the room. So I had to start using the sitting room. So when I had pain, hey, I said, what is this? So I continued and then I now went to bed around, because it normally starts around 5.36 or so the month. So we finish around 6 6 30. I went back to bed only for me to wake up and I could not lift that ankle. It was a serious thing. <laughs> they had to go and call Dr. Bone, call this one, do that one on that knee. And I could not do any exercise for complete three months, the remaining part of the lockdown. So, you know, that brings discussion to us. When you're doing exercise, please, I'm begging you, start gradually. Don't go and jump with people who have been doing exercise all their life, doing all forms of workout all their life. You go and follow them and be doing what they are doing. As I'm teaching you the fitness, but you see me, that, that je, je, I take it easy, take it easy. And when you do the one that you can do in a day, there's no way you will finish the 19 types that we have taught. We have stopped at number 13 now. I'm still going to do the remaining six because I'm showing you samples. When you go, you find the one that will suit you. Do those ones that can suit you. And do the quantity and the rep, rep, repetition that will suit you. You start growing gradually on it. Don't go and become a superwoman in overnight. <laughs> anyway, I think I have drawn that question. Oh, dear, dear. So we'll end up without climbing mountain. <laughs> We'll end up climbing mountain today. So let's do our, our, oh my goodness, I've really sweated here. Let's do our inclined plank. So I'll show you inclined plank and your declined plank. It's like sit up. I think we have even done this before. It's just like a repetition. Inclined plank and then your declined plank. Okay. All right. to your ball okay as you're holding on to this ball you're lifting your body up and down when you stretched so as it's stretched like this can 
Can you see? My ball cannot move because I'm in a tight corner. But as you're moving, you're going up and down. Now, one, you move your ball in and out, and then you go down. So that's the incline plank. The decline plank is the opposite direction. You use your, your leg instead of using your arms or your elbow to hold the ball. You use your leg to hold it and you go up and down. You don't have space to do that one, Charlie. <laughs> and then you can do your V sit up. Your V sit up, like I said, and your crunches, you're not using the ball. So your V sit up, you're lying on the floor. And then you lift your leg. And then you come up with your arms also. And then you go down. So that's it. And for your crunches, your crunches is um, try to get up. Okay? This is what you will need as you're lying down. You try to lift up your leg up and down. And the other direction, if you can also do lifting your body up and down, that will help you take in your abs. Okay? up your legs from your waist so that's how to do that and then i think the last we're doing today will be our mountain climbing so mountain climbing is where we're ending our exercise today with your arms on the floor remember i told you that this mountain climbing showed me wahala so i also have um, <laughs> i have uh, what would i call it um, <laughs> phobia for it but I will try. <laughs> I will try you. Uh... Let me try mountain climbing. Our last exercise for today is climbing the mountain. <laughs> oh, climbing the mountain, you lift up and then you start coming upward. I don't know if you saw me. Lift up yourself and then you take your leg, this one forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward, and do it as fast as possible. My dear, I have phobia for my mountain climbing. <laughs> Anytime I want to climb the mountain, I remember, I remember my pain and I don't do it again. Oh my goodness. So those are the 19 exercises you can have for weight loss. So it has filled the whole place. So, you need a proof that this works. See how I'm sweating. That's a proof that we have done sufficient exercise in one day. And you can see that my breathing also has increased. Those are the two signs to show that you're burning those calories and you're having very wonderful exercise. I take our questions and then we call it a day today. See you on Monday. On Monday, we are going to be looking at intermittent fasting all also in the process of making sure that we lose that weight naturally oh dear 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 so if you got value let me see you stella al machev good afternoon is it already afternoon it's 9 46 hey good morning where are you calling it from that is afternoon already from Miss uche Good morning. Abigail, say well done. Abigail, those of you that are slimmer and younger, <laughs> go ahead and climb the mountain and show us all these exercises. <laughs> As for me, I tell you, I've really done much today. Okay? Trying out these 19 exercises. Hello, long refer me, Anna. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all for the thumbs up. Thank you for the love. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for always being my fans, my follower. And remember, there is a book for Olori today for being the first to comment, chat me on my WhatsApp number. See you on Monday when we look at intermittent fasting for better weight loss. It's all comprehensive.
do all. Love you all. Bye. We see you already. See you on Monday. Yeah. <laughs>